safe and sound in Raw. Peace. Little trip to H&M to get baby boys some more footwear. Stunning them <laughs> Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are coming at you live from Rome. <laughs> so we landed here at about half nine this morning, uh, but then I would say it probably took like an hour and a half to actually get into Rome. I'll go through like the what, what we've done for our travel and stuff when we get back to the room. But for now, we thought we'd just drop our bags. We've come out, we've had a little bit of a walk around. We was absolutely starving. So we stopped for a little bite to eat. So now we're full as a drum. My love came in some trainers that were a little bit uncomfortable. I'll be honest, because we've been flying, walking, like even my feet are like sore. It's very hot also. It's so hot, like, I did not I did not realize how hot it would be here. I don't know if I've got my thumb over at the microphone. So we've just been on the hunt for some sandals for my love. Which I found a pair, Foot found, Locker. Found a pair in Foot Locker eventually. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could check in the hotel from. Is that a hotel? Yeah. Yeah. It's an apartment. An apartment. Oh, fancy pants. Check in from two, and it's like ten two now. So we're just heading back now, uh, freshen up, and then come back out for the afternoon. Hopefully tonight, get on uh, a little rooftop bar. Yeah, love that. Get love some that. sightseeing booked in today for tomorrow. Yeah, definitely need to do that. And then hit all the sites hopefully tomorrow. It's like 20 degrees, but to us, this is El Scorchio. Don't mind if we do. No. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Is it good, that? Mm. Really good. <laughs> So we've just freshened ourselves up a little bit. So we've just come for a couple of drinks. We've fancied an Aperol Spritz. I've never had one before. Um, so we've come to this rooftop bar, what's it called? It's called Bio Hotel Raphael. It's very, very posh. Oh, excuse me. It's very, very posh. 18 euros for an Aperol Spritz. <laughs> 12 euros for a pint. We'll have seven. <laughs> Cheapest chips. But obviously 18 euros, but I have also got a little bit of what would you call them? Snacks, aren't they? Like yeah, little appetizers. Little, little appetizers. Definitely makes it <laughs> worth the while. Gaspacho. Yeah. Gaspacho. A little, Gaspacho. A little taste test. That is rancid. That was like tomato and something. I thought it was really nice. Mm. Do you want to finish that one? Yeah, I have yours. It's got any alcohol in it? Fantastic time in Rome, my love. Absolutely. Cheers to that. Cheers. Just trying to spy out our pizza restaurant for tea. Oh, that lens needs cleaning. Hang on one sec. Baby boy's now got a bit of a grudge against Aperol Spritz because it wasn't living up to his expectations. So he's a bit upset about that, I my love. It tastes like drinking perfume. It tastes like drinking perfume. And bleach, he mentioned at one yeah. point. Not my, my cup of tea. So now we're on our way to a sports bar. Oh, come all the way to Rome. After that, we're going for a Nando's. Oh, oh we're gonna get, get run over. over. Before that. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Take two. Yeah, so I could, the Aperol Spritz has gone right to my head. I can feel myself getting a little bit blurry, if I'm honest. Change of plan, complete change of plan. We walked in the sports bar, absolutely rammed full. No seats outside, so we've decided we're gonna go for a pizza now. Yeah, it's a nice little restaurant just down here. Yeah, very excited. Oh, ciao, bonjour, wine connoisseur. I'm getting raspberries, summer fruits. Divine. Bellissimo. I've still got lips in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. It's on your lips. <laughs> yeah. What do you what do you get when you smell that? Get some elements of grapes. Feet. Feet. It smells like something I've put on chips. <laughs> Chin chin. Cheers, mother. Cheers. 
Wonderful. Bellissimo. When in Rome. Can I have a pint as well, please? <laughs> Ooh. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Just, uh, some stretching. Oh. How these pants do you think? Can you, you can see them in it? No, I think they'll look alright. I think they'll look okay. Can't see my privacy. No, can I can have my tripod back now. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. We want the number 492. I'm going to say good morning to the Huns. Good morning, Huns. Good morning, honey. Just getting ready to get on a bus now. <laughs> 492 is what we're after, isn't it, baby? Taking over the vlog. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, so last night we had our pizza, up, so you saw that. And then we was going to go back to the room, freshen up, put on some cute nighttime outfits, get looking, you know, sexy, dress to the nines, and then go back out for a few beverages. Well, we had a little lie down on the bed, didn't we? Yeah. Um, we're going to have, right, okay, we'll have half an hour, we'll have half an hour. Okay, we'll have an hour. Next thing, <laughs> boom. We were asleep. I think we woke up at like, what was time was it? 10, 10, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock at night, yeah. But I mean, baby boy was all ready for like going back out, weren't you? On it. But I was like, I really, really don't think that I can. So we had like a full 10, 11 hour sleep or something like that last night. But we needed it, we did need it. Anyway, we were up nice and early this morning for breakfast. Our hotel does have a little bed and breakfast. Still not done the room tour, but we'll do that at some point today, I do promise. But uh, yeah, we're waiting for the bus. We're going uh, to the Vatican this going, morning. Yeah, to go to the Vatican. But absolute not sure what we're going to do here because apparently you need to cover your upper arms and your knees. Give us a lower shot. <laughs> we might be dressed inappropriately. That's why I've got this little cardigan thing on. Could you explain a little bit about these passes that we've got? Well, on the vlog? Yeah. Or to you? No, well, on the vlog. Yeah, so basically, in order to like get around the city, we got these little passes, but I don't really know that much about them, so I'm going to hand it over to my love. Well, they're a 72 hour pass, so you buy the pass, and for three days is that, or for 72 hours, you can use all public transport and get into two places sightseeing, so like, the Coliseum and another one for free, but then anything after that you have to pay. It's quite handy, and how much were they? It was... 52 what? euros each. So it's worth it to get, obviously, all the transport that you need. There you go. But it's worth looking into if, if you are coming to Rome. Very, very handy. They are good to have. Handy, handy. Well, as long as we can get on this bus with it. The last <laughs> bus we tried getting on, we couldn't get on with it. That's <laughs> <laughs> on, on the bus now, Hans. I squeeze this one like it's in his sardines, can sardines. It's the best angle ever. Just FYI, if you are travelling around Rome, masks are, I think, mandatory now. Obviously in England, it's not really mandatory to wear a mask anymore. Um, so we don't typically tend to like wear them. Oh. Uh, but we have just been thrown off the bus <laughs> and made to feel like peasants due to the fact we didn't have a mask on. So now we've been and purchased some masks. So. We're gonna have to try and find another way of getting to the Vatican. Nightmare. Do you wanna show the Huns my outfit? Little outfit of the day. This is cute little top. Can we start the top? Thank you. This cute little top is from Zara. We'll link it down below. Um, the bag is also from Zara. Um, this skirt is from um, Gucci. <laughs> Just be aware that if you're going to do one of these tours and you go into the Sistine. Sistine Chapel, you need to cover your knees, which I wasn't doing. I had a cute little white number on. Aye, aye. So I had to purchase this little. Thank you. <laughs> I had to purchase this stunning scarf from the lovely gentleman outside. If you do come, he says that it's 10 euros. Don't pay 10 euros for one. Um, we pay 20. So, <laughs> no, we got it down to what? Five? Five euros. Five euros. Oh. I'm sweating. Sweating. I've got a cute little like white brow at the top under this, but baby boy said I'd be taking the mickey if I was to take this off. Well, just lift your top up a second. There you go. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Right, let's do some sightseeing now. Come on then. I 
and over here we have the fine Greek god. We have a selection of a chocolate muffin, a ice coffee. Uh, a, la a latte. Is that a latte? Americano, cafe americano. Oh, cafe americano. Double espresso. A double espresso. Mm. You spill, have you spilled it? Or? No, no, no. And un beer. And un panini. Like I've got no makeup left on my face from that mask. Done you on it. Done me, done me badly. So this is St Peter's. St Peter's. <laughs> kind of resembles the Coliseum. No? no? No, maybe not. We've not been there yet, so I'm not sure about that one. We was trying to get tickets for it, but if you can see this queue, I'm kind of glad that we didn't. Yeah, it's a very long queue. It is. We've got the Coliseum booked for four o'clock, so we're going to make our way there, but on the way to stop in a few little bars for a few little beverages. Yeah. A little bit of a real talk, real chat. We're getting a little bit stressed. Not stressed like bad stress, but in terms of navigating around in Rome, it's not easy. It's not an easy task. So I think if you're a person that's got a bit of a short fuse, which we're not, then I would take a chill pill before you start <laughs> roaming around, about roaming Rome. The F word may have popped out a couple of times. Only a couple. Only a um, couple. We're Mainly to do with my phone because I've had no signal, no oh, internet. Right. So if you're, so I'm with O2. Um, I just think this is good to know. I'm with O2, and my internet is is really really good. So we're kind of using my phone. But baby boy is with. E and he's got like no internet but he's got all the tickets and stuff on his phone he's like been doing stuff on his phone so he's making it a little bit difficult i'm having to copy and paste and send everything over to your phone for yeah. you to then put the directions in for us to be able to go anywhere it's just not the easiest to navigate around mainly because we're trying to get as many things in as possible in the short space of time that we've got yeah. here yeah yeah uh, trying to do two side museums or two sites in one day it's a little bit tough because of the queues and how much time you spend in each one. Yeah. No. With us having this pass, this Rome pass, yeah. public transport's free, so therefore we're trying to use it as much as possible. But it's just a bit tricky finding which side the bus stops off and getting on at the right side. The, the Roma pass has got us into the Colosseum. The Roma pass has got us into the Colosseum, okay. The Vatican, you have to pay for, it's not part of it. But at the end of the Vatican is the Sistine Chapel, which we've been in and seen. Yeah. But we want to go. We wanted to go to St Peter's. We can't get in there because the queues are massive. Yeah, the queues massive. To try and get a ticket through that Roma pass. Um, just FYI, I don't want it to sound like I'm mourning because I've always been mourning. I just wanted to be honest, so that if you're watching this, because you're coming to Rome or you're thinking of coming to Rome, I think these things, these things are just good to know. Yeah. So I'm definitely not mourning or having a rant. Just being honest. In terms of footwear as well, definitely get some comfortable footwear yeah. and heels don't bother don't bother bringing them babes i've brought two pairs of heels but there ain't no chance these streets are not made for these, walking in heels are these they? streets are not made for walking in heels. In, in heels this is history to me this this is what i'm even asking this is this is proper history this <laughs> is where people battle to the death if we were big and hard it was battle of the biggest deal Big you, men, big you'd men be survived. Winning. You'd be winning then, would My you? My name is Maximus Silius Aurelius. <laughs> so that is the Colosseum complete. What did you think of that, my love? Oh, I enjoyed that. It's one of my favourites. You really enjoyed it, little Southbird. I did, yeah, I did. Very, very we good. only did the tour around the top bit. Yeah, there is a tour that you can do underneath, but it is quite a bit more expensive. But now we're on our way to go and get some drinks. We've typed in a little rooftop bar. Oh, don't get yeah. one over there. Did you get in the bus? Yeah, it's only 10 minutes away. Not oh, it's now. only 10 minutes away on the bus, so we're going to jump on the bus for that and get some beverages. Look at the state of my hair. <laughs>
I mean, it is half eaten now. <laughs> Got it up ourselves. So here is our stunning room. Coming through the front door, greeted by this absolute hunk of a man. So we've got this gorgeous four poster bed. Look at that beam. We've got a big window over here. And then we've got this nice little wardrobe space over here, which I've hung, mm, I did hang most of my clothes up. Baby boy's hung a t-shirt up that he's had on, <laughs> but nothing else. Um, and obviously some little drawers, fridge, just my little suitcase there with some washing in. Then over here we've got a nice full length mirror, TV, little bit of uh, wine there, don't mind if we do. Tea and coffee making facilities. Cute little coat, have this stunning bath, which we haven't actually been in yet. No, better me either. And then we have this lovely bathroom, sink with a nice shower cubicle there. May I add the colour changing lights? Oh, don't, don't worry about us. Little bidet for washing the bottom and a toilet. <laughs> oh, I just realised I'm uh, down there, so how close to the edge I'm sitting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Went right through me that then. Mm. <laughs> Shaking <and> not stirred. <laughs> Mr. Money The name's Boy. <laughs> Baby Boy. <laughs> If I say stop, you'll have to stop though. Stop, yeah. We're on. <laughs> good morning, my loves. Good afternoon. <laughs> Just on our little you scooter. You watch where you go in, you. Oh, okay. So we've had a little bit of a mishap with the footwear scenario. <laughs> and I have got a rather large blister on the bottom of my foot. So consequently, we are struggling to, I am struggling to walk around Rome town. So <laughs> here we are. <laughs> On a little, um, oh, nearly knocked someone out then. It's a little bumpy, are you ready? Oh, oh it's actually quite a big bump. So there are these scooters all around, just left in the middle of the road, and you download an app, you download an app, and then just pay for it by the minute. <laughs> I think it's a euro to start, and then it's 30 cents a minute after that. So now we're on our way back to a bus stop because we're on a hop on, hop off tour. I'm stuck in the traffic. <laughs> so we're on our way back to the bus stop to get back on the hop on, hop on bus. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Yeah. Uh, this is more like it. Oh, Irish pub. Come on, get that clothes, baby. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can you not? The last time you were from us, we was on the, well, I was on the back of a, a scooter, risking my life because of what sore feet. We made it back, we survived. Um, and now we've come out dressed to the nine, looking absolutely sensational, I must say. Yeah, Aren't we, babe? Yeah, we are. What are we going to say? So, but we're in an Irish pub. Yeah, and we've come all the way to a pub that looks like it's set in England. It's called the Scholars Lounge. This is our, this is right up our street. It's like something out of Peaky Blind. But I'm quite, I'm quite a fan. Um, because we were struggling to find, like last night, we were struggling to find any type of bars 
it was just all like restaurants and yeah. a lot of it. So we was like struggling to find like a bar after we'd eaten. Anyway, we spotted this one on the map and made our way here. The blister is still going strong. There's a plaster over it as we speak, but I'm wearing flip flops, so we're all good. Yeah, so we're just gonna have a little gin and limeade. Yeah. Uh, baby boy's got a nice Guinness. Cheers. We're gonna have these and then try and find somewhere to eat. You're not getting a kiss from me. <laughs> Wanna introduce you to the honeys? <laughs> You love introducing the vlog. Sometimes when I get a bit shy, I ask baby boy if he'll introduce the vlog for me. Just to make me feel a bit at ease. He loves it. Anyone else's boyfriend like love putting the accent on of wherever they are. <laughs> He's been doing it all day. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, so we've we've both eaten enough pizza and pasta to last us a lifetime of these last two days. So we both fancy like a steak for tonight. So I've just typed in steak houses on Google. Oh, Blair are there, babes. And there was one called El Portino Roma. Roma that's come up on Google. And it was a seven minute walk from where we are, or where we were. So we're just walking there now. So I'll update you when we get there and let you know how it is. Come well, Huns, I might have to start selling my body. <laughs> to compensate for how much that meal just cost. <laughs> <laughs> so we was like, we just wanted a, like, a little steak, maybe a couple of chips, nothing too fancy. As soon as we walked in, we knew. Oh, we was out of our depth. So. We were so far out of our depth. So we the, we the part. Oh yeah, of course we do, of course we do, babes. And he's like, uh, anything, anything to drink? So my love says, um, <laughs> Can I have a beer, please? <laughs> Can I have a beer, please? What, what have you got on giraffe? No, nothing they, on giraffe. They, they weren't sure what we actually meant. So anyway, I was like, oh, we'll have a white wine. Cheapest one you've got, love. 18 euros. 18 euros. And there was about that much in the glass. For a glass of wine. But he did the whole, would you like to try it? So I was like, oh, yes. You've got to, <laughs> you've got to play the part. So I swirled it round in the glass like you do. And I had a wee sip and was like, mm, yeah, yeah, that's good. And to be honest, it was absolutely. The, the food it was, was really. Lovely. It was. It was really, really nice. And I've walked out with a full belly, so I can't complain about that. <laughs> but full, I've walked out full, with an empty wallet. <laughs> a full belly and an empty wallet. Yeah, it was. It was very, very nice, but and very, then, very, very expensive. What about the table that just walked in? So then, so <laughs> this girl walks in carrying a dog. Yeah, carrying a dog. The dog gets its own chair. <laughs> So the man pulls out and, and fresh chair, puts a napkin down for this dog to sit on. Then he holds like a bowl of water for the dog to drink from. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it where I come from. If the dog is at the table, you tell it to get down and get yeah. in its bed. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Hopefully mummy doesn't watch this one. <laughs> Never seen anything like that in my life either. Yeah. So going back to that dog yeah. sat at the table. It ordered a dearer steak than what I, <laughs> what I had. Yeah. I did have to send my steak back actually. So yeah. I asked for it um, medium, medium. I asked for it medium. But a good vet could have brought that back to life. <laughs> so it got sent back. But other than that, it was very, very nice. It was, it was very nice. Very was, nice. So we're on pot noodles for the rest of the week. <laughs> Talk through what we've got here. This place we've just been. Well, what's it called? So that again? Gusta di Galito. I'll I'll put it in this on the screen <laughs> at the bottom. But they do they have 150 different flavors of ice cream. And I went for I got an Oreo Kinder Egg like Kinder Bueno. No Kinder Egg. Yeah. Uh, I got a white chocolate one. And oh, what was the other one? What was that? White chocolate. A Kit, Kit Kat. Ooh. What well, did you go for? I've gone for mint choc chip, Mars bar, milky bar, and Nutella. Oh. Oof. Nice. 
so as you can tell i'm back at home now after an amazing weekend in rome honestly we had the best time ever it was incredible and i would recommend it to anybody it's such an amazing place to go we saw so many things and i was editing the vlog last night and i realized that i never even put like the trevi fountain on which is one of rome's most iconic sites to see we did actually go to trevi fountain but it was absolutely rammed i thought it was in like a big area where there was like loads of room to maybe stand and take a picture or throw a coin in and all that but just like the whole like there was just people everywhere so we saw it and um, i think we got a little picture of it but we didn't actually go up to it and throw a coin in but i did actually read on google so it must have been true that people throw the coin in backwards and then wish for love but i've already got that <laughs> cringe so yeah honestly loved editing this vlog we are a week on now i've been at home for like five days now and i'm just about to start this weekend's vlog i'm really really excited about i really really hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure you give it a massive thumbs up if there's anything you want to see from me in the future then please leave a comment down below and let me know as always i hope that you and your families are all keeping safe and well and happy going into this next week smashing them goals and working towards them dreams and i will see you in next week's vlog bye Mwah.